How's it going, guys? Quick video today about the storage capacity of the Ituit X500 Touring Kayak. Before I start, just want to say thank you to everyone who watched my in-depth review of the X500 so far. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave a link in the description below. All the views, likes, comments and feedback I've had uh, have been really appreciated, so thank you. A viewer named Sean was asking about storage capacity of the kayak. As it's a touring kayak, people will have camping and long distance trips in mind. So without further ado, let's take a look. So the main storage compartment, if you like, is at the stern. And it might actually be enough for most people's needs. Certainly if you're just out for the day and you just want somewhere to put your pump and your bag, there's plenty of room for camping gear as well, as we'll see. One important thing to mention is that this compartment is not sealed from the rest of the boat, like you might expect in, say, a rigid kayak. Any water in the cockpit will end up in the back. It does have this rather excellent roll top, watertight cover. But you would need to wear a spray skirt in, say, rainy conditions if you wanted to ensure that you keep the inside of the boat completely dry. Whatever the conditions, however, I recommend you always keep your cargo in dry bags, as if the boat flips, it will get flooded. The next sort of official storage area is on the deck. This is for like your day bag, you know, for your snacks and stuff like that. There is actually a, a, an official Ittywit dry bag that clips onto here, fits it really snugly. Um, it's not cheap though, I and mean, I, I spent all my money on the boat, so I haven't got one to show you, sorry. Uh, there's also this shock cord netting here. It's good for like your water bottle, bilge pump. I also use this as lashing points for my, my paddle leash, mooring lines, etc. Now there is a third area of the boat you can use for storage at pinch, and that's the bow of the boat. Now be really careful putting anything heavy in the bow because it will affect balance and stability, particularly in rough weather. I've only really ever put something light in there, like a sleeping bag, you know. But you can do it, what I would do is, Remove the foot peg, get your bag in there. If it's particularly big, you can always deflate this chamber and then reinflate it once it's in. As you can see, there's quite a bit of room in there. I mean, Itiwit do market this as a touring kayak, so people do expect to see quite a bit of cargo space. There's only one real way to test it though, and that's to load it as I would if I was going on a multi-day camping trip. Let's have a look. Right, so we're going to start off with, you know, I've got a tent here. Usually I'm more of a hammock and tarp man myself, but most people have tents, don't they? So we'll use one of those for the demonstration. I've got a uh, sleep pad here, inflatable sleep pad. Got your sleeping bag. Stuff that in there. Yeah, right in there, get all the air out. They save these dry bags to leave air in them so that they float, but they're gonna be in the in the back of the boat. I'm more interested in utilizing the uh, maximum amount of space I can get. That's one done. All right, what else we got? Like a food bag, a cook set with all your, like, you know, pots and pans, and they've got, got, got a gas burner in there and some cutlery and cooking stuff, basically, your kitchen. Here we got a wash bag and First aid kit, all your hygiene needs in there. And uh, a bag of spare clothes, a track towel. All right, that's everything you could possibly want for a little camping trip. And I got this five litre dry bag as well, which is like, you know, day bag for your, uh, you know, just your bits, your snacks, your sandwich, your sun cream, cigarettes, makeup whatever you want. So I filled a 30 litre dry bag and a 20 litre dry bag and my five litre day pack. I mean, this is just what I've got. I'm not saying this is what you should do too. You've got your, what you've got. You've got your own stuff and your own dry bags. Uh, this isn't a tutorial. You know, you have to take what I take. I'm just showing you an example of someone packing for a camping trip and see if it works or not. Okay, so I'm gonna Start with the bigger bag. Put that right in there. A uh, smaller one. Look at that. 
snug as a bug in a rug. to go. So there you go. I'm looking forward to doing some camping trips in this kayak. When I do, of course, I'll be sure to film them and post them on the channel. Speaking of which, please consider subscribing. I've got loads more content planned and it's such early days for this channel. If I could get to 250 subscribers, I'd be, I'd be so chuffed. You'd make me a very happy man indeed. Uh, also, if you found this video useful, then please give it a like. Uh, that helps me out enormously, but it'll also help others who might find this useful find the video. So until next time, uh, happy paddling. It's starting to rain now, so I'm gonna get out of here and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.